Hello guys, Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, today we are going to solve uh, an example of chapter, chapter number 5. So uh, this is about uh, uh, energy analysis and mass analysis of control volume. And in this example is like uh, from uh, Thermodynamics and Engineering Approach book by Eunice A. Jengel. And uh, we have to like, so we have to like do it uh, in order to understand uh, the phenomena about um, regarding uh, the mass flow rate and the volume flow rates so let's just jump into it so this is we have a garden hose attached with the nozzle is used to fill a 40 liter bucket so the volume of the bucket is something as v uh, v sorry v volume is 40 liter okay in order to convert into meter cube we have to like multiply this in meter cube 1 meter cube divided by 1 in 1 meter cube there are 1000 liters so after dividing this you will get 0 0.04 meter cube so this is the volume in meter cube okay so the inner diameter of the hose is 2 centimeter so the inner diameter is like inner diameter of the hose is 2 centimeter and uh, it reduces to 0 0.870 0 0.8 centimeter at the nozzle exit so the you can say d out at the exit uh, we i am representing the exit as uh, 0 or o d naught is equals to 0 0.8 centimeter so in, in meters you can write 0 0.2 exponent minus 2 meter and 0 0.8 exponent minus 2 meter uh, how it is like one centimeter is exponent minus two meter as like you can say one centimeter uh, is equals to exponent minus two meter so you can uh, divide this by exponent minus two and this by exponent minus two so you ha you will get this will be cancelled you will get one meter is equals to this when this will go up this will be positive two centimeter you can write it as one exponent minus uh, plus two centimeter and uh, one meter is equals to 100 centimeter so in one cent one meter there are 100 centimeters so in one centimeter there are exponent minus two meters so we have to like written as uh, exponent minus 2 meter because there are uh, centimeters so we have replaced it with exponent minus 2 so this is the conversion so let's come into the uh, again to the question you have like if it takes 50 seconds to fill the bucket with water like it uh, the time required to fill the bucket is 50 seconds and you have to find the volume flow rates determine the volume flow rates and mass flow rates of water through the hose like you have to find v naught uh, in the first part and M naught and in the second part you have to find the average velocity of water at the nozzle exit and you can we average uh, at the exit you can write it as not is equals to zero uh, equals to uh, question marks so you have to find the V average first of all V naught V naught is, is equals to volume per second time so like it is volume flow rates so the volume volume divided by the time is equals to the volume flow rate v naught you can say v is equals to 0 0.04 meter cube we have found v naught by here 0 0.04 meter cube and divided by time which is equals to 50 seconds when you multiply them you will get uh, 0, 0.0 divided by 50 you will get at exponent minus 4 uh, meter cube per second okay so you have to find m naught which is equals to rho v naught yeah, this is mass flow rate m naught so the rho yeah, it means the density of water is equals to one kilogram uh, per meter cube multiply by v naught is uh, at exponent minus four meter cube per second so let's just cancel this meter cube with this meter cube you will get kilogram per second and when you multiply this with this you will get at exponent minus 4 m naught okay so this is your mass flow rate 
so in the second part you have to find uh, the v average so if you recall the form so if you just recall the formula of uh, v average uh, and not the uh, mass flow rate you will see that uh, mass flow rate is equals to uh, rho density into uh, your volume flow rate so volume flow rate is also is equals to v velocity v average into area okay so this will be the m not this will be equals to m not so you can like replace uh, so you can say that v not is equals to v average into area so we don't know the area so okay okay we have to find the v average and we know v not so in order to find the area you can say area is equals to pi by 4 because it is a hose like this so you have to find the area of this thing take it okay so you you know the di diameter of this so multiply by d diameter of what inner or outer you will say that uh, inner diameter because it is we have to find the v naught and m naught and velocity through the hose so the diameter will be uh, in in diameter will be the inner so pi by 4 into uh, di was uh, 2 exponent minus 2 meter so th there should be a square here so th this will be square here so you can say pi by 4 uh, multiply by 0 0.2 uh, 0 to exponent 0 0.02 uh, so you will get 3 point uh, 3 point um, you will get 3.14 exponent minus 4 meter square you have to substitute this area into this formula and like you can replace v average or v naught equals to uh, v naught over a equals to v average and uh, you know you know the v naught v naught is equals to 8 exponent minus 4 8 exponent minus 4 divided by the 3.14 exponent minus 4 you will get v average okay this is was equals to meter cube per second and this was this is basically meter cube, meter square so this meter square will be cancelled by this so you will get meter per second so v average is equals to 8 exponent minus 4 divided by the 3.14 exponent minus 4 you will get 2.54 so you are getting 2.54 meter per second so this will be your uh, v average which is the answer of your part b so uh, so thank you so much uh, for watching this video please uh, like share and subscribe and uh, i will also upload uh, all the questions like uh, from onward of chapter number five so keep in touch uh, with the channel and uh, also share with your uh, friends and colleagues thank you so much